Navesmere Primary School is cooking up a recipe for success this Christmas. They've asked the pupils and parents alike to put forward their favourite family recipes. Each tasty treat has been tried and tested by the best critics in the school. Well, I put in a recipe and I and I just did I tr I made the names up and I just enjoyed doing it as well. I made the best ever brownies. Oh, they're nice and chocolatey and they're gooey inside and hard outside. I hope that people enjoy making them and they enjoy eating them. Ghost meringues. Uh, they're basically meringues with ghost faces and with melted chocolate. Um, well, it was kind of my mummy's idea because I really like meringues, so we thought we would make some for Halloween and for trick and treating, they. They were really popular, so we thought we would make some for the school. That they like eating them as much as they like baking them. I think it's a good idea, and I think it's a good way because people will enjoy baking them, and then it's and then it's be really nice for them to eat them as well. I like eating things and baking things, so I think it's a really good idea. So where was this idea first baked up? We've got a fantastic group of parent volunteers at our school called the Friends of Knavesmire. They meet every Friday after school and they come up with brilliant ideas to raise money for the school. So it might be to raise money for an enriching activity that the children are going on, like a school trip, or it might be to buy new equipment for school. So they regularly meet, come up with all these wonderful ideas, and a regular money spinner for the school is selling cakes. So often after school they'll in invite the parents to make cakes, buy cakes, and then we sell the cakes. And we recently had um, a regular a Friday of cake sellings after school um, and it raised lots, raised lots of money for school but lots of the parents were coming up to the sellers, the friends and saying where are these amazing cakes from, who's made them, I want the recipe. So the friends basically said hmm we can make a cookbook from this and actually then it's another, another money spinner for school to help raise money for all those brilliant enriching activities and that's how the cookbook came about. From stall to success, the friends of Knavesmere Primary School have been cooking up the book for a long time. Yeah, we're parents at Knavesmire Primary School and we're involved in the Friends of Knavesmire to raise money for um, extra activities for the kids. And we came up with a cookbook idea after we'd run some cake stores. And the cake stores were really popular and we thought, I wonder if a, I wonder if a book would work. After we decided to do the cookbook, we sent out, just sent out an appeal for recipes via our Facebook page and uh, in email requests. Um, and uh, so parents uh, then started submitting things that they'd made for the cake stores or just things that they made at home and thought that would be a good thing to put in the cookbook. And uh, Nicola Chapman in the office very kindly typed them all up and uh, so we had one big electronic database of them all and then we asked all the parents um, one day to um, bake any bake what they'd put a recipe in for so that we could photograph the cakes for the for the recipe book uh, and we got people to put in a little quote about what they'd submitted um, as a, uh, a recipe just to, to make it sort of as personal as possible and why they, why they liked it and what you know what um, what if it was they'd baked it for a special occasion and um, someone put in a, a biscuit recipe they always make on the first day back at school every year which is a really nice little tradition got um some local involvement from the cafes on Bishop Thought Road. So we went to see Trinacri, uh, the Pig and Pastry, Stanley Ramona, Angel Rob on the Green and Robinsons, that's yeah. all of them, isn't it? Um, and they paid us £25 and gave us a recipe. So we were able to raise a bit more money towards the printing costs that way. And it was also nice to sort of get involved with, with the local community. It was great seeing it in print when it actually holding a physical copy because we've spent months just looking at it going up and down on the computer screen backwards and forwards yeah. to actually see it it's, it's brilliant money will go towards friendship benches school trips and extra equipment to enrich the children's learning abby walker that's tv